Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is our belated boldest video for Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. We're gonna we're gonna fight Margaret. We finally did all the grinding that we needed to do so we could do the fight uh relatively comfortably. Let's uh I guess add people to the party. We can briefly go over our prep. We didn't do like insane level <laughs> prep, but we did some. Oh wait, I just remember there's one thing I I forgot to um I forgot to use all our cards. I was, I was going through looking at our skill cards, but I forgot to use our, our thingies that totally exist. All these. I doubt we went on the first try, and I don't really don't even know like what person because I don't know the fight. I looked up a brief like kind of overview of the start. Like I know it's like she starts with physical, and then she does some other stuff, and then she does, does some other stuff, and then she does some other stuff. But it's not like a complete and total gimmick fight. From what I can tell, like it's not like there's there's not many, there's not like any like instant one shots. I think it's like you do have to do like beat her in a certain number of turns, but other than that, but our basic setup is we have a few different personas. Like you're our main physical guy with Vorpal Blade, which seems to be just the overall highest damage physical skill. If you have great status, you're kind of like our fire dude. Plus you do have this thing, which is neat. Uh, you're, I don't really know, you're not very good at anything. You are a physical guy with Akasha Arts, but then we made you and you're just better. Hillel, also kind of good, like he's good against, uh, like he's got a lot of resistances. And there's Morningstar, like we don't really have, like a good elemental guy. Oh, we do have you, you're kind of like our electric dude. I don't know if she can be shocked. I presume no, but Thunder Rain's still a decent ability regardless. And one thing that's kind of, I didn't even know about in this game, that when you got to level 99, your HP and SP max out, which uh, I did not remember. Because I got to level 99 when I played the game, you know, like a decade ago to do the solo boss fight. But I did not remember it maxing out your HP and SP. Let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, we accessories. I think we're still gonna, I don't know if I wanna roll the Sacrificial Idol or not. We have a few things that can be kind of decent. I forgot, um, there's like this extra dodge chance or extra crit seems kind of useful. We did get an ice thing for Akihiko. And Ken, I think we're just rolling with HP on you cause, well actually you don't need HP anymore cause your HP is maxed out, I forgot. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. That actually makes you, I guess that makes you Kari not complete and total ass if you do eventually max her out. So we'll give you the dodge chance, I suppose. And then who is it? I guess, I think she does use elemental stuff, so we still just want to keep those available. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. We did all the little, these background fights and stuff off screen. They're all really fucking annoying. Well, Basically, it's like fortune and strength and the hanged man are annoying, even if you're at high level, just because they just take too long. Uh, the hanged man, especially because he just turtles. And then you have all these like little gimmick doors that suck and are designed to sell prima strategy guides. So terrifying presence. So let's just go in, give it a shot. Oh, we should have started with uh, Satan equipped. Oh, Lord, she floating. Yeah, we should have started with you because you still have auto material Kaja. I don't know. Get blasted. No. Okay. It's it's something. Persona. Now I don't know if there was a way to get everyone else in great condition. As far as I know, it's just random when side characters get great condition. Or if it's like, maybe the days are predetermined. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll just try and blast you. No. Oh, okay, you can be shocked. But you can't be knocked down, probably. Persona. I think it's worth just going for the defense. I mean, she crit. Damn, that did a lot. See my 
Uh, lady, it's not your turn anymore? Okay, so I guess she gets two turns. I mean, that's bad, but we are going to raise our defense lower her attack. So even though she's power charged... I mean, the crits... I mean, I guess if she crits, it doesn't really matter what we do, because that pierces buffs. I summon you. Oh, okay. I can still fight. So I think I saw that like the gimmick is that her, damage. she's weak to physical, or not weak to physical, but physical is good against her, but only one of them, and she's immune to all elements at the start, but it changes at some point. Persona. I don't know. So we're not really doing any damage. And apparently there is like an enrage in the fight, like if you don't do enough damage to her fast enough, she kills you, because that's fun. That wasn't good. But I think it's like only once at the start. It's not like for the entire fight or something. Like I said, I just looked like a very brief overview just because of uh, to try and ease the amount of time this is going to take. This? It does seem like it's a lot of just RNG when it comes to like if she crits you or not. Okay, so debuffs actually aren't that good on you, because you're like the the final boss. I don't know, why just have Akihiko attack then? Okay, so Slash works. And we could, like, just have you guys defend. Because, I mean, Ken, you do no damage. Like, you could kind of shock. I don't know if this works. I presume no. We'll, we'll test it, because I, I don't know exactly how... Like, I think we'll just have you defend instead of heal for now. Me a sec. I'll scan the target. Persona. How's this? It seems like she always crits. Be careful. It's see. See my power. Like, she always, always crits. Because I think we just, like, will... Like, defend on everyone but the main character? But I just feel like we're not gonna do any damage. Okay, so critting doesn't do anything. Wow, but you can be shocked. I wonder if we had like a worse turn. Well, no. Because I mean, if you can be shocked. The problem is our other party members don't really do much. And we've kind of lost at this point. It's time to get Hey, we should test the Tetracorn thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't see, see my power. How's this? <gasps> Cancun. Oh, I think I'm just remembering. It's like what attack she ends with is what she's immune to. I think. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So, like, I think she's immune to Slash now. Or something like that. You don't actually have apt people. And you do. How much damage does the Almighty attack do? Presumably worse. But just out of curiosity. Okay, almost nothing. I guess so for... 
And we could try and equip some of the stuff that lowers the chances of getting crit. Be careful! Electricity doesn't work on you. As you ended with Pierce. Fight hard. I mean, I don't know. We're, we're, we've lost. The hell is this? All right. I just want to see, like, Here. does she like one shot you if you do this? No, she doesn't. Okay, but I guess whatever attack she does, she uh, she drains against. Is that it? So it doesn't. Yeah, because yeah, so it's whatever she ends with is what she's strong against. So any sort of tetracorns would always cause her to heal. All right. So yeah, I think what we want to do. Start with Satan with a free Terukaja. Buff defense. Like power charge on the main on the first turn. Probably have Ken just defend. Don't even bother attacking. Because at least that'll block one potential crit. Buff defense. Lower defense. Get an attack in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I think that's what we'll try. See my power. Okay, would you please stop healing me? But like, I... Lady! Lady! How's this? No, that's gonna heal me. <laughs> Alright, well I see why she has an enrage. Because I guess like, you, you could... Theoretically, be invincible to her? Then she doesn't use like almighty attacks? No. At least, there we go. I think that's who's gonna kill us. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought we'd already proc that. Because I, I remember seeing us, like, heal up at one point. Or somebody healed up and nobody else should do that but us. We haven't during Soul, but I thought I proved that it didn't stack. I remember how that in the playthrough, I didn't, uh... Maybe it's just Endure in that accessory, don't, but Enduring Soul does stack? I don't know. But alright. So we have an idea of how the fight works. And we had, what, like... A decent amount of turns, but I don't know how much damage we have to do. Yeah, so we lead with Satan. Switch to you. No, no, no. Switch to you. Power charge. You basically are immune to physical. Except for what? Pierce? No, no, no. That's absorb ice. Okay. Any other changes we want to make? These are the best boots we have. They are. Okay, we will also... Let's use our thingies. Probably should have done this before we started, but... Whatevs. I don't, I can't wish I could see your stats. Like, I don't know if we've overkilled it. Okay, well, it looks like we did do some overkill there. But yeah, that's really all you need. Oh, I guess I should add the party members. Why did I not have them added before I started? But you know, I wanted to do this fresh from the start. I wanted to have the full full experience. At least to a point. You know, if we do spend up too much time, like, you know, if we die again here, we'll probably cut until we get to the next phase. Or if we die before getting there. So yeah, we switch to you. Power charge. Granted, I guess the problem with power charging is that in theory she might end with a slash, but I guess we could do this attack then, that's okay. 
it's not as strong, but... Persona! I wonder if Suku Kaja would actually be better, because she doesn't, well... I mean, she does a lot of damage, but only if she crits, but she always crits. And so in theory, maybe Suku Kaja would be better just to prevent her from hitting. I don't really know if there's any point in like defending to block crits because like because she gets so many actions like the chances of her not critting are so small. I won't lose. Okay, it's just instant crit. That wasn't even a crit. Okay. Well, it did the cut in, so I assumed it was a crit. She ended with slash, which sucks for us. Okay, you do have primal force, and you have a better strength stat, so we'll attack with you. I summon you. No. Man, that did nothing. I mean, that did less than Vorpal Blade unpowered. Holy shit, that's insane. That ability is broken. Yeah, so I mean, I guess we just like defend on everyone. How's this? How's this? That's. But yeah, I mean, that doesn't. I mean, she didn't crit, but like in theory. I mean, I guess you're still eliminating one of her potential extra moves. She ended with Pierce there. I summon you. No. Like, I mean, that did the same damage. That's crazy. I don't know if this is worth it. Yeah, I think we just defend and... How's this? Okay. God's hand, that's fine. Come on. No crit. Oh, we're getting much better luck this time. She ended with God's hand? That's, I really hate our turn order. Because, like, we want, I guess, well, no one else attacks. So I guess it doesn't really matter that Materia Kai is just not hitting anyone. Persona! This is kind of a spicy turn. Because we ha kind of have to heal. And our defense is wearing out. That wasn't good. I think we'll Tarunda. Just to make the crits less scary. Persona. How's this? That's really bad. So it seems like that ability is the one that's like a guaranteed crit. So it's like if she doesn't Vorpal Blade much, the fight becomes much easier. Which is a little annoying. Oh yeah, you end up with Slash. I wasn't paying attention. That's that's something fight. that's going to get me. Not thinking uh, due to talking. I cannot lose. I do kind of dislike that debuffs don't work on her, though. That, that's a little lame. Well, just because, I mean... Well, it's kind of good and bad, because on one hand, it's like, well, Akihiko's kind of shit now, because I didn't really think about... Because I feel like... Because it doesn't work like that in future games. Actually, maybe it does. I don't know. Because really, the only boss that works like that is the final boss. 
Will they wear out Devos twice as fast? Persona! And I kind of... Oh my god, I'm not fucking paying attention. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, we're probably gonna lose. Behold. It's just so easy to go on autopilot. Okay, so she ended with Smash. This is when we like miss. No. Did we lose our attack? We did not. I mean, we were going to, but we haven't yet. Then slash. Okay, so we have to do Pierce. Please be careful. Now you're pretty much immune to all physical, so we could switch to you. But the problem is not only the main character dying. That's not like an issue. So I think on these turns, maybe this is when we power charge and just hope she doesn't end on slash again. Yeah, we're probably gonna get. I mean, it depends on what move she does. If she does single target, then it's not so bad. But if she like Whirlpool blades us, we get turbo fucked here because we have to heal. That wasn't good. And I'm gonna take the risky play and lower her defense because we're so far behind. Because I wasted two turns Persona. by accident because I was busy talking. Okay, that's that's a pretty scary one. Because that does mean we have to, uh... It does no damage. I'm I don't know why Akihiko is so Senpai. shit. Like, he's taking so much damage. And we kind of need, like... So I think we're about to hit it. I should have been counting turns. Just so that I know. Maybe no, no. like 200. Asha, so we could slash. I did do 2,000 damage, which is like kind of a lot. I think this is still more, even though this is multi hit, which is hilarious. I'm pretty sure I tested that. And like, on average, Tempest Slash or Vorpal Slash is more damage. Yeah, I guess we could. I mean, overall, we had better luck there. I just, we really messed up. Ken is dizzy. His ass is Help dizzy? He's not doing so well. I wasn't even paying attention, man. Hey, yo, where's the bead chain at? Why are bead chains all the way down here and not with beads? Shit don't make any goddamn sense. How's this? Okay. So it's like, what, like 12 turns? Something like that. Cancun. See my power. 
I think we're going to equip the uh the crit thing on the main character. We need you. Please. Cause she doesn't really do that much damage. Like the main character doesn't take damage. It's everyone else dying that's the problem. But alright, we we have an idea of how this like first section goes, so I think we can uh Cut to the second section. We uh, made it to, to stage two. The squad has seen better days, but I think we're okay. Uh, I've made it to stage two once before. I was doing it a little bit last night because I had to do a little bit of extra preparation after trying to do this Um, Because this has been a couple days since the start of this video was recorded. Because basically, we... Uh, I went to go back to get at pupil just to try and maybe help us get the crit on Vorpal Blade a bit more consistently. Because, I mean, it's so hellish trying to hit the damage check. Like, you have to get so lucky in order to get the damage out in time. But I think the rest of the fight has no DPS check. So I think you can play it as slow as you want. And that the first phase is supposed to be the hardest. So... Yeah, what I don't remember what your thing is. Because I did look at a bit of a more of an overview of the fight just to kind of look into like how the hell are you supposed to get the damage in time consistently. And apparently you're supposed to use Junpei, which I guess makes sense because debuffs don't really do anything in this fight. So you use Junpei who has Warpal Blade naturally to kind of shore up your damage. But that would require me getting Junpei up to level 99 and I don't want to do that. 
So instead, I figured I'd just waste my time doing the fight over and over again until we got a crit, which is also very unlikely to happen, or sometimes you miss on your power charges, or she constantly ends in slash. It's just, it's a very, very annoying fight. But I think we just kind of, like, want to play it safe as possible now. Like, I want to, I want to res you. So I think it's like she's supposed to do statuses here. Maybe. Because you saw that she did stagnant air. So we basically don't want to cure poison. Because if you have a status, you can't have another status. And really, only the main character getting status is like a problem. Now I do need to kind of remember what's going on in this fight. Because after I beat the first phase, I had to pause for a little bit. So it's just Akihiko that's not buff. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. But yeah, I don't remember what your thing is now. If you're like weak to everything, or not weak, but you know, you take damage from everything still. So I think you take damage here. But just until you get your first attack off. See my power. You do Madoon. That's not a big deal for us. We have like 20 homunculi. It's only a problem if she does that on Kin. And we're immune to all elements, I'm pretty sure. Unless we just put... As long as the main character is on the right personas, that shouldn't be a problem. Because she doesn't do much damage other than her crits. Just because of the way like crits work like damage-wise. So I think it's like you can be shocked here. Like here you because we established that you can be shocked in like the very start of the fight. Because in that very first turn she does take magical damage, but then she becomes immune after that. Because you know when our very first attempt we shocked her. So like you could do that. I don't really know like how much damage it is. Oh well, sorry, our attack is unbuffed right now, but. Because in theory, this should shock you every time. No. So I think you heal. That wasn't good. Because realistically, I think the main character, as long as they're at like a decent amount of HP and don't get turbo crit, they can't die. Because they're so much more tankier than everyone else. Do, uh, okay, that's on us. That's fine. Our right, turn order could be better. It'd be better if we were going first, but because Akihiko died in the fight, things are a little weird. Persona. Well, if you shock, that'd be great. No. You actually do pretty good damage. Like, I don't think we need to heal. Watch this. I mean, it could be famous last words, but... No. Whoa, whoa, wait, is our defense up? It's not. Uh, okay. We, we could probably get away with not healing, but not healing and not buffing defense, that's a little too spooky for me. Especially since I think all of our... resists are down. I don't know if Iga still has hers. Okay, that's not on kin, not on kin, not on kin. God damn it. Okay. That ended up not being that bad after all. Now, I don't know, you're not doing any more statuses, but like, come on, fuck on, man. The amount of times I've done a power wow, charge Vorpal Blade and it missed. Oh man, it, it's a really, like a really fun time that I enjoy. 
Because, I mean, the poison is kind of destroying us because of, like, the percentage damage it does. But, like, if she does some charm or some bullshit and I die because of it, I would probably uninstall and not do this video. Because we're already kind of at that point where I'm like, I don't really want to fucking do this shit. If I'm being completely honest, but it's like I spent so much time doing the grinding for it that I have to finish it. But there is definitely, like... Because I'm already like, God, this video is so fucking late. I mean, we finished Let's Play, like, almost three weeks ago. Or, like, two weeks ago, I think, by the time this comes out. It's been a long time. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. I mean, this is, like, just purely kind of a, a personal thing, I guess, at this point. That's good damage. It's time to get serious. No, it doesn't. She's not really like dying, though. That is a bit of a problem. No, no. You did double hit, which is nice. Not nah, that's on us. That's fine. A guard on, I'm pretty sure, is good. Persona. We want to start our attack buff. So we'll probably just heal with Ken. No. I feel like your HP has not moved at all since the start of this phase. Is that just me? Am I crazy? Oh, uh, yeah, buff. Yeah, I, I don't... From what I read, there's no, like, overall enrage for the fight, aside from the first phase. But I'm still, like, a little worried that if I take longer than has ever been taken before in human history, she might just Meggy Doll on us for 9,000 damage. Our defense is still down. Please, shock. I mean, that's great damage. You're almost at half. No. And I would like to attack, but remember, you only die if you're killed. How's this? Okay, Bufudan. I'm pretty sure that's good. I, I don't think Michael has any weaknesses. But every time she casts a spell, I'm like, wait, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, she is burning through our homuncula. I don't really give a shit. This world is already doomed. Because if you think about it, in this timeline, we do not defeat Nyx. Because I am not beating this game again. So theoretically, this is all pointless. I do also like how, like, when you lose to Margaret, it's a straight game over. So it's like, canonically, main, if you lose, main character's ass gets murdered and, like, all of humanity dies because Margaret wanted a duel. Like, I don't know, it seems a little rude. That wasn't good. We could maybe get away with not healing, but... Because I guess she doesn't do physical attacks. You don't have to worry about crit stuff yet. Give me a sec. Or she I doesn't do physical attacks in this phase. And that's all good. I cannot lose. No. And next turn, we should maybe knock you into your next phase, which I can't remember. I know it's like one of the phases is, phases is that she has like alternating resistances or something like that. And I don't remember what the last phase is or like what it said it was supposed to be. I 
but you're almost at half, which presumably would be when you switch. No. I mean, I feel like I'm doing so much more damage here, but like, I feel like she's like her HP bar is not going down, or it is going down at a comically low rate. And she's still Hamanin. How's this? Okay, I shouldn't say this, but I am really surprised she does single target attacks here. Instead of like AoE ones, so that at least if you did have a bunch of homunculi, they would like get burned down really quickly. Because I mean, even the Reaper was using AoE stuff. I think we can maybe cure the main character's poison. Well, I'm gonna wait until we are assuredly in the next phase, because I don't think she does statuses. Well, I guess maybe she just does that initial poison? I don't know. Because I assume that was the point of stagnant air, was to... And I feel like, it re like I read something about it saying that you want to have, like, null charm at least. That makes sounds like she would use no like charm abilities, but it's time to get serious. No! I didn't mean to do that. You were supposed to heal. And I was supposed to be the one to fill your dark soul with light. Here. What if you could use magic mirrors here? How's this? Because I mean in theory she doesn't. But I'm also like, I feel like it might cause you to get one shot. But I think, now that, now that I mention that, I think it said something about you can use them at some point in the fight. Persona. Like, I think you can Tetracarn her in the last phase. Oh. Oh, have you, have you, sw have you swapped? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. You, you have, you have swapped? Okay, I'm going to heal our poison then. I hope I don't regret this. That wasn't good. Okay, so now I'm trying to remember. What did it say? How does the magic stuff work? I cannot lose. Because it's one of those where you have to pay attention to like what attack she uses. Electricity doesn't work on it. Drains fire. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think it's used the opposite. It's it's kind of like the first phase, except magic. So you're supposed to use the opposite of whatever element she ends with. Now, I wonder if Almighty does good damage. So wind would be what we're supposed to do. But we don't have a wind persona or a fire. Like, we only have... Like, we don't really have any good elemental personas. Like, you're okay. But you have a weakness, so I can't use you. And I, you're just so I can get apt pupil. Yeah, you're just kind of filler still. Your stats suck. And you have weaknesses. You're, you're not good. You would really only be good if she's weak to electricity. So I think we're just going to spam Morningstar. It's probably not the most damage. But it's something, so I think we use Morning Star except for turns when she's weak to lightning. And then we can kind of go in on them. Because no. we do have three lightning guys. But we might be here for a while. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Yeah, that was dumb. I, w I wasn't thinking. And our attack wasn't up, so we'd probably be doing like. Close to 400 with a Morning Star, with her defense down and our attack up. It's not great, but it's something. You see, so so ice would be good, but we don't really have any ice guys. I guess just Secunda. I 
you. No. Okay, it's like 370. We're we gonna be here for a while, man. Cause like you're not weak to physical at all. I guess you heal. You have nothing else better to do. I guess that would be another benefit of bringing Junpei over Akihiko is that you have like better coverage, or I guess bringing maybe Yukari over Kim. Yeah, because I mean, Yukari's probably better than Ken at level 99, now that I think about it. Because, like, the main reason I've been using Ken over Yukari the entire game is he has a better HP pool and no weaknesses. But you could get an accessory for her, and they, uh. Her HP pool doesn't matter when you're at max level. It doesn't seem like darkness will work. It looks like she's always immune to fire. Or not fire, uh, physical. Okay, so we could go in on this turn. It's also the turn where she is uh, not weak anymore. Ooh, well that doesn't matter because you're immune to physical. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. You have no weaknesses because you repel dark. Yes. Persona. No. Okay, that's something. Watch this. No! Wind won't work. You I guess we could look and see if we have I don't think we have any gems that we could use either. We might have to start speeding things along here. I don't know. It's not really too much to say here. It's kind of just, uh, we're, we're doing our best. We're not, we're not really the best def offensive squad here. Let's at least get to our last phase and then maybe we might just like fast forward or something. Oh my gosh, she is not taking any damage. Yeah, okay, we might just not say anything until we get to our next phase.
Oh, oh, I, I think we I think we made it after a billion years. See my power. So I think the thing here is that she can do everything from earlier. But also mind charge and power charge occasionally. But I did look at, at it, and it said you can Tetracarn during the last phase with, like, no problems. Like, she doesn't have any res resistances anymore. Which I think we... W let's try it. I'm going to trust in what I read. Now, what I read was also wrong in one regard, because one thing that's so annoying about her first phase is so, like, the gimmick is that, like, she do, if she ends with a slash attack, she's immune to slash. She's weak to, you know, strike and pierce. But if she ends on a power charge, it seems like it's random what she's weak to, from what I can tell. Because there have been times where she'll do like, you know, say, Vorp, like maybe she'll do like a Kasha Arts crit, then power charge, and that'll be the end of her turn. So in theory, she should be weak to or immune to strike because that's the last thing she did like that's the last offensive act but sometimes she just will then absorb your portal blade and you'll be like i don't know why that happened and that happened to me so many times so it's like whenever she ends on a power charge you're just like Give me a sec. it's I'll so annoying in the first phase but like can we just do shock stuff as well i mean it doesn't really do that much damage though because our team sucks Right, I'm gonna try this. If we die, I don't, I don't care. I'll release the video as is and just say we won. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. If she 99,000 Meggy Dolons me because what I read was wrong, because I'm not redoing the first phase again, probably. Unless we lose legitimately. If we lose legitimately, then yeah, I'll probably suffer. But if we lose due to some like cheese bullshit, nah, dog. I guess you can just suku kaja. It's strong again. Okay, Rakunda. Akasha arts me. Wait, with car card. Trying to think of the best way to do this. You're immune to lightning. You just Zeodon. I guess you Thunder Rain can doesn't attack. We buff our defense again. No, 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 no. Just styled on nerd. But at the very least, she didn't instant Meggy Doll on us for doing her thing. Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. That's, that's just like a normal attack. This is actually potentially really good. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I just did like 2,000 damage. We have Kin heal, no. and then we go for the Akasha. Honestly, go ahead and s well, just in case, because I mean that's the I think the only way we die is if she like turbo crits us the physical attack. I mean HP is good on the main character and Kin. Mind charge. Power charge. Scary. A little spooky scary. Defense is still down. Let me think for a second. Yeah, 
our attacks are wearing off. We do have we do have Tetracorns up, right? Right? I'm pretty sure we do. It doesn't say we do, but I'm because we did it with Ken just last turn, and she didn't do anything to proc it. I don't know if this is any good. I have never used it. I just kind of want to see what it like. Does it hit many times or something? It seems to be like a special move. Okay, its gimmick is that it does no damage. That wasn't good. That's the little funny joke. What if the attack? What if his signature move was ass? Persona. You what the fuck? That's actually. So fucking bad. See my power. All right. Oh, the homunculi works against that. Holy shit, that's so good. See my power. That's the one good game design in this whole fucking thing. No. I, I actually cannot believe homunculi works on that. I mean, these motherfuckers that we got left. I don't think you can even see them in your inventory. All right, well, that shit's fucking terrifying. I mean, we should still have, like, 10, I think. So she can do that, like, two more times. I mean, I did see my life flash for my eyes there. Okay, I gotta remember. So, only Ken has lost his resist. All right, so she can cast statuses in this last phase, so that's why it's scary. Oh, God. I mean, I'm, I'm already thinking it. You know what I'm thinking. I summon you. You think that counter does her mind charge? Pay attention now. Wow, you're strong. Wowzers. Watch this. No. Um. Persona. I'm, I'm thinking, because I mean, like, there there are a couple ways we die now, and it's just it's out of our control. Like, if she charms us, it's over. If she sexy dances, because theoretically we could deer a Han, her, and heal her to max HP. No, no. And then I would, I would consider I would not do the fight anymore after that. Um. Party in effect. Persona! I think we're just gonna Soma. No. Actually, let's attack Mirror first and then Soma. And then honestly, we should probably Magic Mirror on top. Just to maybe try and prevent that. I think actually I'm gonna Magic Mirror first. Because that should help with the status stuff. It won't do anything for the Meggy Dolons, which is actually kind of good for us. But she won't be popping it on, on that. Granted, I mean, reflecting the damage would be nice, but more than anything, I just want to not die. And then our HP looks a little low. Keyword, a little. I mean, worst case scenario is that she does... Well, Mickey Dolan can't pop our magic here. And it has, she hasn't cast any regular magic, right? She's just done, done Mickey Dolan physical attacks and statuses. Persona! No. And 
we tried. See my power. Tetracorn, annoying, but not really a big deal. How's this? Makara Karn, annoying, but not really a big deal. I won't lose. We probably just pop the Tetracorn with Igus. Attack, pop the Tetracorn just to have it popped. Maybe Dolan. Spooky, but not scary. Okay, that was a little more spooky than scary. Oh, is our defense went off? No. I have no clue how much damage that did. I guess has taken heavy damage. Her ass do be looking a little grass. Her ass do be looking significantly less grass. Okay, um... Yeah, 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 you need the attack mirror. Take this! Mind charge, not, not that... Oh, it's a slightly big deal. Power charge, that's good for us. Okay, so we want to raise defense with Igus. If we all hit, I mean, it's possible we kill here. The HP bar is very misleading at this point. I mean, it looks like she has no HP, but you never know. I mean, we should have attacked no. for the crit, but I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit. Persona. See my power. That's pretty fucking bad. How's this? God damn it! All right, well, um. See you in a little bit. I cannot lose. No, no. Behold. I guess is unconscious. Behold. We need you. Hello, we, we have returned. So we died. I don't know if we went included or not. She does have an enrage. So after she burst steal for 8,000 due to the uh, reflex that I didn't know she could do. Uh, yeah. We're, we're back though. And I think, so this part seems scripted. I didn't look up the script though because I'm not a loser. But it seems like she does the same thing in the same order. And I can't remember when she did the switch to like her secret fifth phase that wasn't detailed in my guide because I think theoretically you can win before that happens. Or like the little overview I read of the fight. So I don't know. Because it's really that last bit is when it gets spicy because we can't Tetracarn or magic anymore and I think we're about to enter into it so I don't think we can do anything with it anymore. Now I do think I mean like we could heal the main character's poison as well I don't think there's any point in doing that because it, it seems like she just does that one ghastly whale which isn't actually scary because we have homunculi but I was also like I didn't I don't I didn't know if this part was scripted and it seems pretty scripted. Like I think she's done the exact same stuff in the exact same order. I summon you. And we're at about the same part we were last time. Too slow. That's really fucking bad. Defense weakened. Please be careful. I won't lose. 
So like, I don't think we can afford to go for the reflect anymore. Like, I don't think we can do that at all. Even though I think she maybe does one more physical attack. I, I can't remember. And because I can't remember, we have to be safer. Because if she burst heals for 6,000 again, like, I mean, we just lose. Like, I don't know. Because last time she did four first, right? She, it was actually the Zeodyne, the Zeodyne that killed me. But yeah, like, we need to do damage. And because we had her so close last time. Like, so, so close. Okay, so we will need to up defense. Honestly, you up defense now. Because in theory, I mean, we need Thunder Rain to hit. Like, it, it really, it really, really needs to hit. We've missed, like, three times with it in this fight so far. No. And the, the her magic, her third phase was absolute hell. She didn't end on Garadon a single time. No. 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 So it took forever. But, like, we have to be aggressive, I think. I mean, I... Right, maybe we can't be that aggressive. Granted, we literally lost here last time. We're like, I think we could have killed with Igus, and I didn't. But main character being at 600 Jesus! HP and her being charged up. That's too much. Okay, so this was the Zeodon. So I'm glad we didn't do any reflex. So as Thor, she's immune to Slash, which is weird because I'm pretty sure regular Thor is immune to Strike. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. It's time to get serious. No. So your own Thor. Thor, I'm pretty sure her Thor is immune to Slash. She's so close. Kind of. I mean, she looks close, but like the HP numbers are very misleading. No. Oh my god, that's so pathetic. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. And okay, we don't have any more fear sutras. No, we do have one. Oh, that was with our attack buffed. Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't lose. I don't know why Poison doesn't wear off on the main character as well, because it wears off on everyone else. Like, everyone else, they the Poison eventually wore off, like, naturally, but the main character will never wear off. Yeah, it is Slash. Okay, so this is good. So Pixie, we can do whatever. Pixie is, like, what she was earlier. Before, it does it does suck that our turner is all messed up. And you have to heal. That wasn't good. We need to hit our ability. And of course, it's right when our attacks wear off. I summon you. I mean, if we if we miss, we probably lose. Too slow. Because we're, we're so, like, far behind now. Persona. No. Persona. No. See my power. How's this? Yeah, that's really good. Um, what I want to do, I want to check. Okay, so our attacks have all worn off. I really should have cured the poison, but I was scared that I was going to get charmed or something. Okay, 
here, immune to slash and lightning. The, the two things we're actually good at. You're gonna Vorpal Blade next, probably. I summon you. Don't miss, please. We've missed so much in this fight already. No. There's nothing that like heals uh like heals and gets rid of the stupid poison. Persona. No, no. Oh my god, what an awful fight. Like truly horrendous. One of the most egregious fights ever. I've I've ever had the displeasure of going through. And the funny thing is, it's still better than the other fight, which is against Theodore slash Elizabeth. Since we're not doing it, I will, you know, there's no point in pretending that it's like a spoiler. That fight is true dog shit, because it's 100% scripted. Whereas this one, at least there's some variability. Now, the variability is just RNG bullshit, but at least you have some sort of agency in the fight. Thank you. I haven't had that much fun in a long time. You made me a happy woman. I'll give you this to symbolize how both of our powers touched. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't know what that does, but thanks. And presumably it unlocks a persona, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to go over to key items. Margaret's precious bookmark. Cool. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, my biggest problem with the fight... Oh, my sister seems to be very satisfied. Thank you very much. I have no doubt she caused you a great deal of trouble, but I ask you to please forgive her. Still, it would seem that you have been strengthened by the ordeal she set before you. I would appreciate it if you would take heart in your growth. Don't ever talk to me, Theodore. I don't know, did, did that unlock anything? Anything special? The answer seems to be a big fucking inno. That's cool, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, the biggest problem with the fight is just, I mean, the first phase kind of sucks because it's like, it's so, like, it's so hard to hit the, uh, the enrage and let, like, if you get any sort of bad luck, you're not going to hit it in time because you have to do like 7,000 damage in 10 turns, which granted, it would be easier if you had like Junpei and Yukari instead of, uh, Akihiko and Ken. Or at the very least, Junpei instead of Akihiko. Yukari's not, she's not really that good for the first phase. She's she's about as useful as Kim, but she's better for the magic phase. Just because, like, we were all lightning. And she never ended on Garu a single time during that second attempt. Which was obnoxious as hell. And then... The last phase is kind of annoying, where it's like... It feels like the only way to actually do enough damage to her in time is with, like, Tetracarn Cheese. Which, considering all the previous major boss fights have established that you can't use Tetracarn against them. And so having that be, like, a semi-required strat there is really annoying. Because normally, you know, if you use Tetracarn against the boss in Heaven's Door, you get one shot. If you use it against the final boss, you start spamming Megadolon. If you use it against the Reaper, you start spamming Megadolon. It's, uh, so they kind of teach you, hey, don't ever use Tetracarn or Makarakarn in the late game. And then it's like, oh, actually you need to do this or else you will not hit her in her agent time. But yeah, whatever. We did it. I'm glad I did it in the sense that like, it's nice to have it done. To, to say that I've, I've done everything in this stupid game now. And I can finally end the let's play completely. Which, you know, overall, I had a fun time with the game. The biggest problem was just that the Let's Play took way too long to record. Just due to, like, my own not being able to record as much. And then also losing a bit of desire towards the end. Because the Let's Play had taken so long. But yeah. We'll, we'll finally start a new Let's Play, though, to replace this. Sometime soon after this. 
I've been meaning to record, but like the last few weeks have been pretty rough for me, so I haven't been able to record at all. But, uh, yeah. I'm Extra Cheese 87 Stay tuned for the next Let's Play, and bye, guys. Thank you.